Today I'd like to explain to you amino acids. So a lot of customers come into the shop and they ask me for BCAAs. Now BCAAs are the most common free form amino acids available. They're isoleucine, leucine and valine. They're the three amino acids responsible most for hypertrophy. Hypertrophy is muscle growth. So people believe that if I, if I use those three amino acids, those be the ones that will make my muscles grow. I don't need the others. I just need to focus on the, the three most important ones. And that's like going outside and saying, well, you know, as long as I have my best shoes on, it doesn't matter if I'm naked. At least my, I have the best shoes on the shoes, so the shoes will help me get to where I need to go. But you do need to be fully dressed. So if we're going to have BCAs actually work, we need to have all the essential amino acids. It's got EAA stands for essential amino acids. They're essential because our body cannot make them. Okay? They have to come from an external source. Glutamine is not an essential amino acid. It's an, it's an amino acid that's very important for us and our body can produce it. But we cannot get essential amino acids from within us. We have to get them externally. BCAAs are three of those essential amino acids. So if, you are, if I sell you a BCAA, it's an NEAA product, it does contain BCAAs, okay? You don't have to add BCAAs to EAAs because EAAs contains BCAAs. There's a lot of letters here, a lot of alphabets I'm talking about. Now, to make it really simple, essential amino acids, which is uh, listed on this product here, I have histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, thionine, valine, and tryptophan. Okay? They are the essential amino acids that I require. This is actually a BCA product with added EAAs. So this is a really, really good product. This is a really cool product because it contains a lot of the BCAAs, but they work because it's also combined with the supportive six EAAs. So we have BCAAs here, which is a 2 one, one. That means the ratio, we have twice as much leucine as we have isoleucine and valine. Here, we have a 4 one, one. That means we have four times as much leucine as the other two. Leucine is a very important amino acid. It actually helps uh, with protein digestion as far as people recommending, Stan Efferton's a big believer in taking 30, uh, Taking leucine 30, min 30 minutes before consuming protein it will actually help with the, with the um, absorption of the protein. Now, what is an EAA? An EAA is a complete protein that is broken down. Okay, If I was to buy a whey protein concentrate, it's going to take maybe two hours before that protein becomes EAAs. So EAAs is in all of my protein powders, okay? They're all there. However, it's the digestive time. So if I'm going to the gym and I take a protein shake while I train, unfortunately, I can't really absorb the protein while I'm training because my body is not going to be able to digest while I'm training. We have 80% of our blood to our skeletal muscle under training, and the other 20% is to, to our vital organs which is our brain, you know, the, the, the basically the functions to keep us alive. So it doesn't really prioritize di di digestion whilst we train. So therefore, any food that we're eat they're eating and we're training really hard kind of sits in suspension. So there's no more breakdown. So what's going to happen now, if you take an EAA while you train, your body's going to absorb it immediately because there's no digestive time. It's, it's, it's free form amino acids. So... I've got different kinds of EAA products. Here's EAAs derived from chicken. Here's EAAs derived from salmon. These are tablets. These two here are EAAs derived from milk. These both come from whey protein. Not all of them come from whey protein. Just the uh, just uh, just some of them. So if you have if you read the label. It lists a few of them as being free form, and then some of them as coming actually from, from milk. So technically, if I was to use this, 
I may not have a complete protein because if I'm waiting for two of the amino acids, most likely tryptophan, to digest from milk, then I'm not getting a complete protein until that digestive time is finished. So for that reason, these chicken and salmon, I would rate more. Uh, this is a liquid amino. This is from collagen. And it does contain a complete amino acid profile. So sometimes you'll find an amino acid product that because tryptophan in some countries can be uh, illegal, they add other amino acids. They might add extra glutamine or, or, or glycine or other, other things that basically are not essential. So it reads really good, but unfortunately, it's not a complete protein. It's not a complete protein unless those eight on this one, histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, thyroid, valine, and tryptophan. So there's nine here. There's nine amino acids in here. This is an essential amino acid product, okay? It's got BCAAs on the front, but it contains all of the amino acids. It's very, very important. So what is the difference? Why do, why do we sell BCAAs then? Well, as I said earlier, BCAAs are the three most important amino acids when it comes to muscle growth. But if we're going to compare it to a car, a car having most cars having two-wheel drive, whether rear wheel or front wheel drive, the two wheels that are responsible for the car moving forward they're the ones that are most important. However, the car cannot roll forward unless all four wheels are present. So we'll call BCAAs the two wheels that are actually attached to the engine. And we'll call the other, say, uh, five, six amino acids from the essential amino acids list that have to be present, but don't actually necessarily actually produce muscle growth. They have to be present in order for the BCAAs to work. So the car needs all four wheels to drive. The three amino acids in the BCAA need the other six to be there to work. So if you're drinking your Noco, if you're drinking your Amino Pro, and you're thinking I'm getting the BCAAs, getting the amino acids that are required for my muscles to grow, you're not. Okay? The only way they're going to work is if you already have free form amino acids in your blood. So for example, if I had a protein shake an hour before, two hours before, I may have my EAAs in my bloodstream. So when I drink that NOCO, it will join the other amino acids that are already in there and together they can all work, okay? But if I was to drink my NOCO on an empty stomach after having slept for eight hours, and that's the only amino acids I'm using, it's not gonna work. So as much as the marketing and hype would like you to have it believe, it's not going to work, okay? BCAAs, as a three, they will give you energy because you will use what we call glyconeogenesis or gluconeogenesis. That's the conversion of amino acids into sugar. So if you take a BCAA product and train, you will say, yeah, I feel great. I feel like I have lots of energy. That's because you're actually producing sugar with those amino acids, but you're not actually growing muscle. So buying a protein powder, that's a, maybe it's a whey protein concentrate product, and it says added BCAAs. Well, that's not going to really that's really not going to help you too much because the BCAAs are going to be absorbed immediately, but the other protein is going to take two hours. So the BCAAs kind of come and go, and they don't work because they're just three amino acids. And then two hours later, all the protein comes available, the whole EAA spectrum, and then the protein works. But the BCAAs that you were added, but you paid extra for, are long gone. So there's really no point in in, uh, in buying a product that says added BCAAs, okay? BCAAs, standing for branch chain amino acids, those three amino acids do not promote muscle growth on their own, okay? So when a customer comes in and they say, I want to get some amino acids for training, I always promote EAAs. Then they say, yeah, but my friend suggests I take BCAAs. And I go, well, if you understand nutrition, then you'll realize that's just a waste of time. I do sell BCAAs in the shop because I encourage people to save a bit of money, buy a BCAA, buy an EAA product, maybe use half a scoop of EAA and a whole scoop of BCAAs. That means you have a lot of the three that work 
but can work because they're mixed with the other amino acids that you require. So to save money, because most of the time BCAAs are cheaper than EAAs, I say buy the two. Have maybe 10 grams of this and 10 grams of that, and you're having a lot of amino acids to have while you train. But if you use five grams of this, 10 grams of this, it'll still work. If you have two grams of this, 10 grams of this, it'll still work. If you have no grams of this and 10 grams of this, it won't work. Okay, it's that simple. You need EAAs. Okay, so that's my tip for today. Understand your EAAs and make sure when you go into a, a supplement shop, don't let the salesperson convince you that BCAs is something that you definitely need and require because they're just trying to make a quick buck out of you.